Drop. What's going on Giants fans? This is Carr from NY coming to you guys with another video. I'm here with my co-host Big Sean. We're going yes. to be talking to you guys about um, Giants news that has been breaking, rumors, stuff that we've been hearing. Uh, there's a lot that's been going on recently even though it's not much, no sports going on like because we're quarantined but there's been a lot of news coming out man. So we're going to get to it right now. Uh, first off, we want to start off with what happened today with the uh, rumors of Yannick Ngakwe uh, being rumored to maybe being traded to the Giants. Now, personally, I actually thought about this. At first, I wasn't a big fan of the Yannick Ngakwe trade, but now I think I like the possibility of it happening because the Giants do need another edge rusher. And I think if you bring him in, you put him on the opposite side of Leonard Williams at the end spot, that will be awesome. I would love to see that because uh, the Giants are going to do a mix of 3-4 four, and 4-3, four, so it's going to be interesting to see what they do there. But uh, do you have anything you want to yeah. add on before um, I... Hey, guys. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, if you lost a family member or friend to... Uh, COVID-19, uh, my apologies and my condolences to you. It, it's it's bad out there. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping things get better. Keep your social distancing. Wash your hands. Just stay away from people that you think may have it. Take care of your friends, your family, your coworkers. So, um, Sean and I, we've been, you know, doing our research, uh, reading stuff, uh, looking up stuff on the internet, watching videotapes of players and stuff. Um, like Sean was saying, that uh, Yannick Ngakwe trade, that's a possibility. The Giants are really might be interested in that. There's a lot that's going to go down, especially starting at that third, the third slot, which the Detroit Lions have. Yeah, but, and um, uh, but I want to, I actually want to get to the details of what the Giants would have to do for, in order for this trade to work. Now, I saw I saw a couple scenarios under the comments on uh, the rumor that came out. Um, it was reported, it was in a article that, uh, I believe an article or Adam Schefter mentioned it, something. And what he was saying is the Giants are one of the, could be in the race to trade for him, like I said. So it would, the Giants would have to give up their first, uh, their n number four pick to move back with Jacksonville at nine. And I believe the Giants would have to give up a, uh, it's, I think it's a third round pick. It was a third. Yeah, so or no, they would get they would get Yannick Ngakwe in a third, I believe. They probably have to and they would have to give up the Giants would have to give up, I think, their fourth and like a fifth round or something like that. So we'll get more details uh, on that. Yeah, I mean what we'll see what the details are when they come, but if we could somehow pull that off, I think that would be really good, especially for the Giants. You trade back, you get Yannick. But I, I do believe it was a third-round pick. I'll have to check back on what the details were. But uh, Yannick It's just Ngakwe, a scenario that's yeah. out there, guys. I mean, it's, it's just a scenario. Just we don't, we don't know what's going to happen. We really yeah. don't know. I mean, we have to see. I mean, uh, GMs throw things out there. Yeah. Uh, coaches throw things out there. You, you got all the writers, the beat writers, you know, the yeah. sports journalists out there who covered the teams and stuff. Yeah, and it's... A lot it's, of the stuff is rumors and lying mm -hmm. goes on around this time. Yeah, it's a weird, weird situation because uh, the owner of the Jacksonville Jar, he wants to keep Yannick Ngakwe there, but some people are saying, well, some, they don't want to keep him there. They do want to keep him there. Just a mix, uh, organization right now is in a rough situation right now because they did have one of the best defenses a couple years ago, but yeah, they pretty Columbus much Campbell. just collapsed everything. They traded away Dante players. Fowler. Yeah, so... We're going to have to see. I mean, it's a possibility the Giants go that route. I don't know if they will. We'll have to see. It's it's a draft day type of trade, so we'll have to see. I mean, I don't mind if we do move to that nice spot. Most likely the Giants will be drafted. you got to get a lot for that nice spot, guys. If I mean, they, I, yeah. I mean if, if, you, if you're – it's got to be a really good deal. If you yeah, it has to be a good deal. Make this I mean, trade for Giannis. They have to give up at least – a solid pick as well with that a mid round pick, but uh, first off, we wanted to also start off with the uh, 
Giants are interviewing the top four tackles. Yeah. I believe that's going to be Tristan Wirfs, Andrew Thomas, uh, uh, Jedrick yeah, Willis, Jedrick and Makai Becton, I yeah. believe. Mm-hmm. So, hey, if they're if they're interviewing these guys, Jordan Renan has also talked about it on Twitter, how the Giants will most likely – I'm not going to say he said most likely, but they will be looking at that offense tackle spot in the fourth uh, pick. Or if they trade with the Jacksonville Jaguars for Yannick Ngakwe at the ninth overall pick, but I like the idea of going off his tackle. But I still love Isaiah Simmons. Yeah, Sean I, is high on I Isaiah Simmons. Guys, I like his talent. Uh, I think he's a tremendous athlete. But we have to protect our number one asset, and that's Daniel Jones. Yeah, we and I still feel like if the Giants, Jones, if yeah, if the Giants do trade. Oh, actually, you know, I just remember. So that trade for Yannick Ngakwe, it, I think the Giants would have got back a second round, and the Giants would have had to give up a third, their third round pick, I believe. So it's kind of like a flip flop situation. Not, but that I I'd be down for that. If we get Yannick Ngakwe in the second overall pick, and then we move back to ninth, that gives you two second round picks. So you can go. So let's say you do go offensive line, you can then draft. Uh, you could draft if you want to draft another pass rusher, or you can go draft your center like Cesar Ruiz, who the well, Giants could look at if he's yeah. there, or Cushionberry, or later round center from Wisconsin as well. So there's a lot of options they can do there. They can also draft another safety at the second round spot if they do that. But we'll have to see. It all depends if the trade goes through yeah. or not. Yeah, and if they move back to nine, now I think. Uh, worse will be gone by then. Worse and, and another Willis offensive will be tackle gone by then. Go. You know, probably to the Browns one and one to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, uh, there's Andrew Thomas and there's Mekhi Beckham. I know the Giants like Beckham and they like Thomas too. Supposedly they was interviewing him the, uh, the other mm-hmm. day. I know that they had an extensive interview or, or they had an interview with Tristan Wirfs so at the far, uh, Combine. Yeah. He was probably the first guy they went after. And that's the guy I think they're targeting. Yeah, but yeah. this is also the thing. The Andrew Thomas thing is starting to heat yeah, up Yeah, that's more. starting to heat up And now I have a feeling that the Giants will somehow do a trade. I just have a feeling there's going to be a trade because maybe they know something that – we don't know about the offensive tackles. Maybe they really like Andrew Thomas more than the other guys, and they feel that if they go to the ninth spot, they'll be able to draft from there and get some compensation with some pro- yeah, draft a, pick from Beckham. the uh, yeah. Yon, uh, Yonkin Gakwe trade. So we'll have to see. I like that scenario, though. If they, I mean, I don't mind Andrew Thomas. I've always been more of a Wirfs and a Jedrick Willis type of guy just because they show – uh, they just those guys just, are plugging they're, they're, it right, they're, right off the bat. Yeah, and Thomas probably is too. He is, and back he's only twenty to, years old, right? Twenty, twenty. He's a little work because Rob. He might have the most upside back then, like yeah. a lot of people say out of all of them. Because uh, history, we had a guy big like that. I remember Big Jumbo Elliott, who was on the uh, on the nineteen ninety uh, Super Bowl team. He was like a six foot seven, three oh five. But this guy's very athletic and got back then, so. We're going to see. There's a lot of stuff going down, you know, like under the rug. We don't know about but It's like it's all going to, like, pop up on draft day, draft day morning and stuff, like the movie. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> like movie, it, if, you, if you really look at it, yeah, up. if you look at it, think about if the Giants don't re-sign um, Leonard Williams. They could have signed Jadavion Clowney yeah, during possibly. the offseason, and then they could have did the Yarn and Gakwe trade. They could have had a terror at that T line if they really wanted to, but I didn't expect the Giants mm-hmm. to do that much. But uh but we wanna go over the first couple rounds. Yeah. Uh just, just, just a, a couple, couple guys scenarios and stuff. Yeah, scenarios that you have now I see you have a list right here. Yeah, I, I got a couple guys like um I just got like like just a, a three round draft and possibly a fourth in the fourth round. So uh, like I was telling Sean, I think Wirfs is the guy. Um, but if something happened and they didn't want Wirfs, I think their second choice, if would be if it was an offensive tackle, would be Jedrick Willis. Now Sean is still zoned in on Isaiah. Yeah, Simmons. I think I think right now for but, the Giants, it's a but, want and need situation. But they, I think yeah, you know, how they would say that don't draft for need, but this would be a need in a good way. Okay. This is a ten year. Yeah, I mean the Giants need they worse. need 
They or possibly passed Jedrick over. Wills. Yeah. Uh, second round scenarios, um, but yeah, Cesar Ruiz, you know, Michigan guy. I like Cesar. I like He's him. the best center. You know what I mean? I think coming up. Um, so uh, there's also, um, yeah. There's, uh, I mean, there's, in the uh, second round, you got Zach Bond. Wide, Zach Bond, and then there's the wide receiver. Depends on what Sims, receiver you want. Mims. Bell, Mims, excuse me, out of Bell, who's really moving up the charts and stuff. Yeah. You know, and does uh, Sean like Jordan, Je- is Jordan Jefferson? Jo- well, uh, Justin Jefferson. I don't know Jefferson. if he'll be there. He, he um, might go or He's a good I player, know. but I, 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 like, I want a taller guy. No, T. Higgins. T. Higgins is uh, the guy. Would they go for T. Higgins? There at second round, um, so so third round scenario. Me, I had Michael Pittman. There's Chase Claypool okay, as or well. Chase Claypool also in the third round. Maybe they go after Nick Harris, the center, at the University of Washington, six foot one, three hundred two, smart, good uh, center. Uh, there's also a center we know that's at LSU. Well, he's probably um, going to be the second round. Cushion yeah, Barry, probably, yeah. Cushion Cushion Barry's Barry, an early second round. There's pick. one over at University of Wisconsin. Then I had. Also, a sleeper pick for them could be um, we have uh, Malik, Malik Harrison. Harrison, the linebacker, maybe in the third round, out of uh, Ohio State. You know what I mean? So I w- don't be surprised if they go worse and then maybe take the wide receiver, uh, uh, Mims, uh, now, no, look, kid now. out of, uh, out of uh, Higgins, out of... Uh, um, yeah, out of Clemson. Clemson. Now there's a yeah. now listen. There's a possibility. Let's say the Giants do do that Yannick and Gakwe trade. They get two second round picks. They can trade back up into the first round and go grab someone of their choice if they really want to do that. They they have the option to do that, and I would be all in for that if they wanted to go yeah. get a receiver that's falling that they have high ex like they're really high on, or if there's a safety that's out there. Let's say. Uh, Xavier McKinney is there, and he just keeps falling. The Giants can go grab him, or if they want to go grab uh, a top receiver that's just falling. Yeah, the, the young man yeah. at the University of Texas will be around. Uh, also, the receiver we talked about in our last video at Liberty. So yeah, and um, Ganny, go- I think he's gonna be in the fifth. You know what I mean? So that's round. an option for the guy. He's six foot four. He goes up against the ball, ball hawker. He's just we just you know he can go up and get it. You know what I mean? And he can. Now, maybe some of the competition wasn't as high as like going up against Ohio State or Clemson or anything, but he's still a very, very talented wide receiver that would just need a little bit of work with the coaching staff. Also, in the fourth round, but this guy could move up to the third round, is tackle uh, Matthew Pert at a um, University of Connecticut. He's six foot seven, 310 pounds. And he's climbing up the ranks right now. So he can go from a fifth to probably a third or a second round pick. As you know, Giants fans, uh, one of the guys we loved and who came out of University of Connecticut was Will Beatty. You know, he was a he was a, a staple on our Super Bowl teams and stuff. And we yeah. really enjoyed having him. And he did a good job for us. So, you know, those are a couple of guys I got from, you know, rounds uh, one through four and stuff. Uh, I'll yeah. have a, a, seven, uh, a full mock draft and a couple of days out, and I might even have it ready by tomorrow. Yeah, sure. so uh, another uh, guy that I like, if he's there in the second round for the Giants, which he should, he should Yeter Gross Matos. Yeah, that's if he's it, there. Yeah, the second round. Um, I, I mean, look at it. You get, if you get him, put him, plug him in. If you don't get Yannick Ngakwe, plug him in. And then you ha- you're going to be straight, man. You got him. You're, uh, you're going to have worse. The best thing that could happen for the Giants, if you ask me, you trade, you do the Yonk and Gakwe trade, you draft uh, worse, and you draft uh, Cesar Ruiz or Cushion Berry, one of those centers in the first and second round. I think if the Giants did that, you cannot, that has to be the best thing that could happen to the Giants on draft day. You draft your two guys, your starting center and your starting tackle with opposite side of. Uh, Nate Solder, you're, I think you're in a solid position going into the 2020 season to compete and hopefully get to the playoffs next year. That's I can definitely see that. You get a center, you get your tackle and your pass rusher, and then you'll be set. I, I can well, definitely well, see we're that. We're hoping. Happen. You know what I mean? No, That's they, the best yeah. thing that could happen to the Giants. Another guy out there is the, the Donovan Peoples guy, the wide receiver out of uh, University Mich- of Michigan. Yeah, he had, he, his numbers aren't there. With a lot of talent. 
didn't play with the greatest quarterbacks. Yeah, Shea Patterson was. He not could be there in the third or fourth yeah. round. You know, Giants. You know, history. They like a lot. They like Michigan guys. They always have. But we'll see. He's a, another guy who could pop in the third round or the fourth round. You know what I mean? Just you yeah, know, these I mean, are you know scenarios or situations. We don't know what's going on. Where everything's being done virtual, and some of the teams are worried that they think like when their pick comes up, maybe their internet service goes out or something or. Yeah, you know I mean that that's been some of the other rumors going out there with general managers and player personnel directors and scouts and stuff and head coaches. So they were like hey, you got one mm-hmm. minute on the clock and then something happens to their internet service or something. But the NFL sure that it'll be taken care of. Roger Goodell said they're gonna make sure nothing like that happens, you know, as we get prepared for this uh virtual NFL draft. It's gonna be very interesting, guys. Yeah, I I think uh it's fifty eight participants that will be there. Uh, so the giant, I mean, the giants are going to have, uh, a lot of things The giants are going to be very active very. on draft night because they're the team right now that has, they have the set players. They already have the foundation. They just need to add a couple pieces. And I definitely think that the giants are heading in the right path going into this draft. I mean, you got a tackle that you're looking at a center, Another pass rusher you could use outside linebacker. They got a lot of options. I mean, yeah. Dave Gettleman though he's he's over the last two years he's been good at finding diamonds in the rough. Yeah, that's what they're going to be looking so, for. The scouts are going to be hammering on the table when it comes between that rounds five to seven. You know what I mean? And then guys that don't get picked, undrafted free agents. Remember yeah. Victor Cruz? That he was an undrafted. This year, Caden so, Smith. Caden Smith. So there'll be guys out there. That even in the seventh round, if they don't think they're going to get signed or drafted, I mean, so the Giants will be on the phone with them, like, immediately, probably by yeah. round six. You know, yeah, you know, or a, even round five. You know, yeah. scouts will be doing their homework, going up and down their list and stuff. And There's corners and running there. backs at the Giants. I expect the Giants to address the running back situation as well as the cornerback situation in the later rounds. I'd say five through seven. You can see the Giants going after. I mean, they have seven, seventh or, or four, seventh. Yeah, they got four. Picks. Gonna, picks I don't the think round. they're going to. So use they might be looking for those. another quarterback too in round six or seven. Yeah, so they, they might, might trade. Yeah, you know I mean, up with those seventh round picks. So. You know, you, you you know that's that's an, uh, another scenario to look at. You know what I mean? So uh, we're getting close. We're almost there. Fourteen we're, we're, days you know, away. By the time this video is out, we're doing research. Days away. We're watching videos on players. We're looking at scenarios because it all starts at that third pick with the Detroit Lions, and they even said that they're they're possibly looking to uh, trade their pick. You know, I mean, they're open for business. Mm-hmm. So we're yeah. gonna see what happens, and here, guys. Also, uh, another guy that I I don't know if I got to mention this, but Anthony Harris. I believe the Giants are showing some interest yeah, in maybe so, trading for him, yeah. but he is twenty nine. He did lead the league in interceptions last year, which is her, ball hawk, that's yeah. what I like. But we'll have to see. He's 29 years old. He's looking for a, a, probably around $15 million almost uh, for which a multi-year I deal. I don't so, know if he's going to get that yeah. at this time of the year. I don't you know what I mean? It'd probably yeah, be, yeah. I'd say you can only go 13 at the most. 15 is pushing it, but 13 at the most. But we'll have to see, Giants fans. That's going to do it all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe yeah, like, for more subscribe, content. Give us your information. To let us know because we're trying to research, get all this information out to you, talk to you all. Uh, we're just excited about the draft as you are. I know it's going to be a different scenario this year, but it's still the NFL draft. And expect the unexpected, guys. Absolutely. Uh, follow the Twitter at capital S underscore capital C 1313, as well as you can follow my podcast on Spotify at uh, Cart from NY. Uh, it's all on there, uh, the latest podcast. Yeah, we got we one coming on out there. again. Yeah, we're going to have might another have one, one out probably tomorrow. We'll have one yeah, out. tomorrow we should be putting out our second mock draft, so you guys can watch or listen to that on Spotify as well as the Anchor app as well. But we'll catch you guys later. Hope you guys stay safe and healthy. And go Giants. Go Giants.